ऑक्सीजन में दो एटम होते हैं ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल में ओजोन में तीन एटम होते हैं ऑक्सीजन के तो इतनी क्या बड़ी बात होगी तीन एटम हो गए तो खुदा बन गई क्या इतनी सारी ऑक्सीजन दो एटम वाली पड़ी है वो तीन वाली आके कहती मैं ओजोन हूं तुम्हारी जिंदगी बचाती हूं कैसे किसी को मालूम है पर तीन वाली क्यों अल्ट्रा बाल को रोक लेती है दो वाली काफी नहीं है अगर सारी जितनी ओजोन है ना ऊपर उसको ला के जमीन पे इकट्ठा कर दिया जाए पता कितनी मोटी लेयर बनेगी इतनी आई थिंक ह्यूमन एनिमल लर्न बेस्ट फ्रॉम अदर ह्यूमन एनिमल्स आर अदर एनिमल्स that is why we have schools and colleges and universities otherwise we should have had only libraries and ask people to work in libraries that is why great music is created in a few places where there is a great musician and teacher around that is why the guru and the ustad is still important and got involved with science education in schools public schools first then municipal schools in bombay then in rural schools and one found that uh, whether it's science or education specificities are important you can use the same <laughs> curriculum in municipal schools of bombay which you had to use yes. in rural school It's also true that in terms of people we educate we have not been able to provide proper, proper opportunities to them. Many colleges and universities are very very poorly equipped. We think those who don't go to school are completely uneducated. I tend to believe that we have an enormous subterranean education system operating in our country through which farmers learn how to farm. continuously without going to school how to use new seeds how to use fertilizer when to water when to sell when not to sell it is through such a system that jewelers sonars people who make our jewelry learn their craft and their art which involves engineering and metallurgy and everything whole lot of craftsmen make such beautiful things we don't call them designers because they can't speak english artists and painters many of the writers great writers if rabindranath had to have a degree before he started writing he would have never written and so what we have not done is in our urgency to get something out of our education we have separated the natural learning system which exists in our country from the formal system we have no connections a university should be a universe people should be able to take it to course in any anywhere we shouldn't really teach people to make it easy to take their examination we should have credits in a few things and then let the employer determine or the person determine whether he has had enough or she has had enough or not this coupling has to be introduced because a lot of gaps which are in between unless they are filled no real problems can be solved as far as young children are concerned and their education is concerned all i would say is please let us stop torturing children torturing them for nothing because we find that the learning is only for for testing and examination which is a horrible thing to do stop overloading them with information which they don't understand understanding is that which gives joy and pleasure if they understand a few things then later on as world develops they keep on understanding more and more if they get into a habit of not understanding anything then they haven't learned very much 
I think let them taste the joy of understanding. I've asked children in Hindi, finally, let me use a few words in Hindi. What is understanding? Finally, we come to a consensus when I discuss let there be more and more maza. Maza word is fantastic for children to understand. Okay, there is a feeling of joy. Because whatever you have inside your brain, no matter where it came from, you begin to see its relationship. It begins to form a symphony. There is a symmetry which develops in there. Once that happens, then you pick on resources which you didn't even know you had to do all manner of things. How many great people during last century had 99.9% .9 marks? I think uh, Einstein didn't, nor did uh, Rabindranath Tagore, nor did Bill Gates. Very often, it's good to be a dropout. Don't worry about it in a positive sense. How come that while science flourishes, scientific temper diminishes? I don't think that, by and large, most scientists have a great scientific temper. Or the most industrialized country amongst his people who are powerful have a scientific temper. Okay? Power is acquired by some people. I think, for example, in the United States, they are amazing people, very tremendously thinking people, philosophic people, kind people who do anything for others, who well behaved, uh, remarkable. But in terms of powers, whether it's corporations or the government and the way they are elected, that's very different. You can have millions agitate in Europe, in America, everywhere, for example, for the war in Iraq. But all they have to say is, oh, don't worry about it. Once we start fighting and a few of our people die, patriotism will take over and everybody will support. Okay? This has been said. Wow, cynical. Okay? What is happening is a phenomenon that science is, uh, there is tremendous specialization. It's the age of experts. An expert is super specialist in medicine is an expert. He can't diagnose you by touching you or anything else. Similarly, a super specialist in technology of one area or in sciences of one area is a super specialist in area. These super specialists essentially are people who can be called upon and used by others for their ends. Itna bada bomb banao. Make such a big bomb or such kind of a bomb in which Buildings are not destroyed, but people get killed. It's a challenge. To a super specialist, it's a challenge. And he'll be involved with that challenge. He doesn't care what it will do. Okay? So there is to assume that every super specialist will also worry about the larger aspects of where the world is going. I think it's terrible. So I keep on saying that heaven's sake, even if you are super specialist, Again and again, encounter, look at long perspectives of science, which you take you really to the very beginning of the universe, or beginning of life on the planet, how we came to be, archaeology, how we developed, how we learned to speak, what happened, how we had to be separate because we grew in small groups. This is the long perspective which should really control the values and thinking and really Mix with the ecology of the brain all the time, not values which are given to you by, by lecturing and by posturing and teaching you only about one religion or the other. Beyond all conventional religions, the most important thing are these perspectives. These are the only ones which will give you a scientific temper.